Hi everyone, Renee here, and in this video I'll be talking about my favorite sunscreens for dry and sensitive skin. Whether your skin is feeling parched because it's winter time, or you're in a desert climate, or maybe you're just using some really harsh active topicals that are compromising your skin for the time being, or if you know you want a multifunctional product that will not just give you the sun protection but also moisturize your skin as well, I'm going to show you some of my favorite moisturizing and gentle sunscreens screens. that I love not just moisturize your skin but very important to me they keep my skin moisturized through the day. These formulas are also really gentle because they focus on using the lowest concentration of active ingredients or UV filters in order to achieve the broadest and most powerful protection. Just one of my all-time refuse to ever be without sunscreens is this one from Anessa. Their UV sunscreen melt milk for sensitive skin with an SPF of 35 and a PA of 3 pluses. This is a less intense version of my other all-time favorite, which is in the gold bottle, which is also the UV melt milk, but it's an SPF of 50. Both the melt milks were created for very sensitive skin or for young children, so the formulas are created with out any potential irritants such as fragrance or alcohol. I feel like these formulas are just as elegant as any of the Anessa sunscreens. I find this to be beautiful for the winter or any time that you're just getting everyday incidental sun exposure. This is powerful protection that only becomes more powerful once it comes into contact with water and sweat and that is just um, you know Japanese sunscreen innovation for you. It's got a milky texture that is just beautifully moisturizing. It's also hydrating. This has a powerful combination of organic and inorganic sunscreen filters and you know if you are someone whose skin is on the dry side there's probably dullness that comes along with it. Dry skin is dull so this I will not rob you of radiance. In fact, it will give your skin some beautiful radiance. The other thing that I really appreciate about these sunscreens is that they keep getting updated. In fact, I kind of feel like more of our favorite products should continue to be reformulated to keep up with new existing technology that can actually make them more powerful or gentler and more efficient formulas. I've already been through two upgrades of the mild milks and they just keep getting better and better. A broken record moment that I'm having right now, one of my all-time favorite sunscreens is this one from Claire's. Their Soft Airy UV Essence SPF 50 PA4 Pluses. The sunscreen is so beautiful it's not even like a sunscreen. I actually take deep pleasure and joy in applying this on my face. This is your perfect lightweight gel cream moisturizer. It is hydrating um, on application. It's moisturizing. It's soothing, really soothing and calming. It's got a lot of my favorite B vitamins in it. It's got niacinamide and it's also got panthenol and sodium hyaluronate, which is, you know, the hydrating duo. But it's also got beta-glucan, elanto, and C buckthorn extract. These are just a few of my favorite ingredients because they're so soothing and calming to the skin. If you have any kind of you know redness or inflammation or irritation in your skin, this will calm everything down. As far as all mineral sunscreens go, my favorite for dry skin is this one from Paula's Choice, their Essential Glow Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30. With dry skin, I love moisturizers that have SPF. That is definitely a good way to go. I feel like it really comes down to the way things are labeled because every sunscreen I'm talking about today um, is pretty much a moisturizer with SPF. These formulas I feel are lightweight enough to be multifunctional products during the summer, so you don't need a separate moisturizer and SPF unless you just want to. At the same time, they're lightweight enough to layer over a moisturizer if just this is just not enough. So this is a very well-rounded protection formula. Um, not only does it have the sun protection, but it's also full of antioxidants from resveratrol, vitamin E. It's got so many vitamin C derivatives in it, but also some nice soothing brightening agents as well, niacinamide, licorice root extract, um, bisabolol. It's um, just lovely formula, but the application of it is where it really shines for me because look, at the end of the day, especially with sunscreens, application is everything. This has to be one of the most elegant all mineral filter sunscreens I've ever come across. So this has a universal tint to it that is really similar to the one in Supergoop's mineral smooth and poreless sunscreen. This is the same in that it blends out into nothingness. It just blends into your skin tone rather than, you know, leave any additional pigment. 
on application, this is just so hydrating on the skin. In fact, it just feels really soothing and comforting, um, but also it's moisturizing without being heavy or greasy. And it just leaves your skin with this really subtle, natural, healthy looking radiance. Another of my go-to moisturizers with SPF is this one from La Roche-Posay, their Tolerian Double Repair Face Moisturizer. With a broad spectrum SPF of 30, when it comes to sun protection or or the microbiome, I pretty much implicitly trust La Roche-Posay. If we're talking about just UV protection alone, anything Anthelios will give you some of the highest protection out there. And I am already in love with their Double Repair Moisturizer, which was in my 2018 favorites for moisturizers. So just the combination of the two is like the best of every possible colliding world. It's made with prebiotic thermal water, which really helps you maintain a healthy microbiome or build it back to a place where it is healthy. If you have dry skin, dry skin is asymptomatic of a microbiome that is not balanced. So this really helps treat and repair that as well. So the more you use this, the more it's really treating your dry skin in the long term, as well as the short term relief and fix. This again has that beautiful sort of lightweight hydrating impact as you apply it on your skin and just leaves this nice moisturized finish that's not really heavy or greasy. So if your skin is really dry, then you would definitely layer this over a moisturizer. This has some beautiful soothing repairing ingredients. It's got niacinamide, ceramides, it's got a lantoin, which is fantastic for just calming your skin down. Another powerful moisturizing sunscreen would be this one from Altruist, their SPF 50. This is some seriously powerful protection in a very moisturizing formula. I was told that this has a UV APF of about 30 or over, which is just, it's really high. At the moment, this is the only sunscreen I know of that uses Tinosorb A2B, which is one of the most advanced and newest sunscreen filters. So I feel like sometimes I do experience pilling with this, but I feel like I know how to avoid it. What I do is I actually apply it really quickly because um, I think it just sets pretty fast. And then I leave it for a while before I put on makeup or anything else. Usually though, I'm just using concealer or it definitely helps if I'm using a cushion compact and you know just patting my makeup on top of um, the sunscreen. Also, if you have a darker skin tone, you may experience a little bit of a white cast with this. I personally um, don't have any of that. There's no tone up effect or anything like that, but I can see that there could possibly be potential for that. Like for darker skin tones, you might find that their newest sunscreen, it will be better for you. It's their anti-redness and pigmentation sunscreen, SPF of 50. This formula is also more of a skin treatment than this one, which really is very simple. It's moisturizing, you know, it's it's very protective, but other than that, it doesn't have many other, you know, skin loving ingredients or elements to it, which, you know, which is fine. This one has some ingredients that are great for redness and calming the skin down, like licorice roots and Tella Asiatica. It's also got a thinner, very hydrating texture. It's still moisturizing, so it's not drying at all, um, but it's just a much, thinner, watery texture. This comes out a red neutralizing green color, but as you apply it, I guess the pigment beads explode and then it starts turning into like a light brownish color. It is a bit warm, but it does even out your skin tone a lot. It's just a little too warm for me at the moment. Although I still can wear it, I mean, it will make me look like I have a nice healthy tan, um, but I think in the summertime, you know, I should have no problem. It's just that right now in the middle of winter, I have a little bit of a pasty pallor. And then of course there is Evie. In particular, their sunscreen mousse 50. This one is for face and body, the whole deal, and it's super moisturizing. Um, the ones that are just for face have more of like a primer effect and a finish that isn't as heavy. I spent 10 sunny days on a boat at the end of summer and I had the most minimalistic skincare routine which consisted of my vitamin C serum and basically this. This is so hydrating and moisturizing. This can be used on even the most sensitive skins. It could be used on eczema, rosacea, on um, people who have sun allergies. Oddly, I feel like this even has sort of a makeup gripping component to it. This also has antioxidants in it. It's got vitamin C derivatives as well as vitamin E, um, some hydrolyzed silk and collagen just to keep the skin hydrated and moisturized. If you want a vegan formula, then the sunscreen mousse for kids um, contains no collagen. 
foundation. And then we have Dr. Sam's Flawless Daily Sunscreen SPF of 50. I would say this is perfect for those of you who love Elta MD's UV Clear Sunscreen, but you want something that's for drier skin and you want something that's a little richer, creamier, um, luscious in texture, and just soothing and comforting for your dry skin. This will give you that beautiful silky finish and there's something that's so comforting in the application of this, the way it hydrates and moisturizes. It is intensely moisturizing on your skin, but it's comforting too. This has about 5% niacinamide. So that's it guys. These are my go-to sunscreens for whenever my skin is just feeling really dry or compromised or even sensitive. And I just want some comfort, some moisture, and I want just that healthy looking skin. None of these have ingredients that might dry our skin out or cause any kind of sensitivity. These are not boozy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.